It's fall, y'all. Last weekend, I bought spaghetti squash at Freeman's Farm. When you buy spaghetti squash, you want it to have a nice firm rind and not have any bruises or soft spots. They can have different colors. Some of them can be more of a creamy white or pale yellow like this one. Some can have more of an orange tinge and that would have more beta carotene in it, kind of like carrots. It's a really healthy and delicious food to eat. And the recipe that I'm sharing today is one that I ate a whole bunch when I was losing over 130 pounds. So I'm excited to share this with you. Spaghetti squash lasagna casserole on healthy cooking with Z. There are different ways that you can cook your spaghetti squash. Personally, I've just always found taking it and then using a sharp knife, stabbing it a number of times here, different places. Then we're gonna pop it in the microwave and I typically cook it around six minutes, at least to start with. So while our spaghetti squash is cooking in the microwave, we're just gonna be browning up this Italian seasoned turkey sausage. So this has been in about 10 and a half minutes microwave. And you can see, I could just kind of press in a little bit. That tells me that it's cooked through and softened. So we're just gonna let this sit here and cool a while and then we'll cut it open and make spaghetti squash. So this has been cooling, it's still a little bit warm, but we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. See all the seeds in here, we're gonna scrape those out. You can see as we're scraping those seeds out, how the uh, spaghetti's even kind of forming there. You can see kind of the texture. This is kind of the fun part. You get to create your spaghetti noodles. If you just rake your fork along there, you can see them coming. Spaghetti squash lasagna has got a lot of health benefits. It's a nutritionally dense food, which means it's low in calories, but high in nutrients. Spaghetti squash can promote eye and skin health because it's got a lot of vitamin A in it. It can aid in wound healing. It says it helps fight off free radicals. All good things. It can support your bone health. And it also can help reduce inflammation. We all need that because it actually contains a considerable amount of omega-3 fatty acids. The other thing it does is it helps promote cardiovascular health. Into our spaghetti squash noodles, we're going to mix in the garlic powder and our pepper. Just stir that up a little bit. In a bowl, we're gonna mix in our one cup of ricotta cheese, our Parmesan cheese, and uh, mozzarella cheese and two tablespoons of our liquid egg whites. I think the ricotta cheese and the cheeses are always my favorite part of a lasagna. So being able to have this as part of the healthy and delicious meal is great. While I was losing my weight, I primarily had two recipes I could think of that I used for my main meal a lot of times. This one and my uh, Unstuffed cabbage rolls. I always have this in my freezer and it just made life easy. Now it's time to assemble our lasagna. So we're gonna start out by putting one cup of the tomatoes on the bottom. We just kinda of wanna get it spread out a little evenly over the bottom there. And then we place our spaghetti squash over the top of this. Again, we just kind of want to get that even it out just a little bit. And over the top of our spaghetti squash, we're going to be putting this ricotta cheese mixture. And again, just kind of spreading this out. And I'm doing this in an eight inch square baking dish. You could use a nine inch pan, or I've got one that's oblong that I've used some too. And Basically, a quarter of this recipe will be one serving, so whichever size dish you use, kind of go by that. Now we're gonna spread our five ounces of our turkey sausage. My sister is the queen of making this. She has made this um, 
casserole many, many times. And unfortunate for me, she's awesome at freezing it and then wanting to send some home with me. So she's actually kept me stocked up with this a lot over the past few years. And she likes to actually use a butter ball, the uh, ground turkey and then turkey sausage. And she does half of the regular turkey and half of the sausage. So if you just like a little milder sausage flavor, that is totally fine. And then we're gonna top this with the last cup of the tomatoes. And we're gonna put this into the oven and we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. Our casserole has been in the oven the last 30 minutes. And we're gonna top it with the last cup of the mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 20 minutes and let this top get melty and browned up. The casserole is done baking. This pan is full. As you can see, beautiful it is. It is brown and cheesy. We'll leave it sitting here for about 10 minutes so that it can set and kind of finish its cooking. Check this out. It's even better than I remember. You know, having great recipes like this really makes it easy to get to a healthy weight and to lose weight and to feel great. If you'd like to learn more about the program that helped me lose over 130 pounds, Let's talk. Love to have you join me on this journey. Also, if you'd like more information on some of the recipes we've been sharing, go to healthycookingwithzrecipes.com and download a PDF cookbook. Thanks so much for joining me today on Healthy Cooking with Z.